Apple's new iPhone 8 and 10 support fast charging with USB power delivery, but you have to buy a new USB-C power adapter and a USB-C lightning cable. Is it worth the money? I tested charging speeds with five different adapters to get to the bottom of it. Before we hop to the results, let me quickly explain how I tested. I started with three iPhones. First, there's the iPhone 7 Plus, the most recent iPhone that does not officially support USB-C fast charging. I also tested the iPhone 8 Plus and iPhone 10, which do support fast charging. For each of the phones, I drained it down to 1%, made sure no apps were running, put it in airplane mode, and then plugged it into a power adapter and recorded the charge percentage every five minutes until the battery hit 100%. These are the five adapters I tested. This is the five watt adapter that comes in the box with every iPhone. This is Apple's 12 watt adapter. It comes with the iPad, but you can buy it separately for only 19 bucks. It uses the same lightning cable that came with your phone though. This is Apple's new 29 watt USB-C adapter, and it costs a whopping $49. This is the power adapter for a new 13 inch MacBook Pro. It has an output of 61 watts, and because it uses the same USB-C power delivery standard, it should fast charge the new iPhones just fine. Finally, we're gonna throw the Google Pixel adapter into the mix. This $35 18 watt adapter isn't made by Apple, but it supports the new USB power delivery standard, so it should work just fine too. For any of these USB-C adapters, you're going to also need to buy one of these, a USB-C lightning cable. Apple charges $25 for a one meter cable or $35 for a two meter cable. That's just way too expensive. Let's take a look at the iPhone 7 Plus first. The inbox adapter is just pitifully slow. It takes almost two and a half hours to get to 90% and over three hours to a full charge. All of Apple's other adapters charge the phone about 70% faster with the USB-C adapters going just as fast as Apple's 12 watt USB-A adapter. iPhones prior to the iPhone 8 don't officially support fast charging via USB-C, but they're clearly capable of charging much faster than they do with the included 5 watt adapter. But look at the results with the Pixel adapter. Even though Apple's USB-C adapters charge the phone as fast as the 12 watt adapter, Google's does not. It's still a lot faster than the five watt adapter though. Moving up to the iPhone 8 Plus, we see a slightly different story. The included five watt adapter is just as slow, two and a half hours to 90% and over three hours to a full charge. And the 12 watt adapter charges at the same speed as the iPhone 7 Plus, 90 minutes to 90% and a full charge in about two hours, 20 minutes. So with the five or 12 watt USB-A adapters, it's the same as older iPhones but the USB-C adapters, even the Google Pixel adapter, are all a little bit faster than that, where they weren't on the 7 Plus. We're seeing USB power delivery at work here. All these adapters can deliver as many watts as the phones can handle, so there's really no substantial difference between an 18 watt third-party adapter and a 61 watt Apple-made adapter. All three USB-C adapters are maybe 25% faster than the 12 watt adapter. The iPhone 10 was so similar to the 8 Plus that the differences are just within the margin of error for this sort of thing. The 8 Plus charged just a tiny bit faster, which could be thanks to better thermal dissipation or maybe the iPhone 10's unique two battery internal design. So here's the thing, no matter which phone you have, the 12 watt adapter gets you most of the way there and it's only 19 bucks and doesn't require a new lightning cable. The USB-C adapters get you just a little more speed, but only if you have an iPhone 8, 8 Plus, or 10, and you gotta buy a really expensive new USB-C lightning cable too. My recommendation, whether you have a newer or an older iPhone, the Apple $19 12 watt adapter is a great buy. It dramatically improves charging times and works with the same cable that came with your phone. The USB-C adapters just aren't worth the extra money. So check below if you wanna see more data or links to any of these products. And Apple, if you're listening, it's long past time to stop packing five watt power adapters in the box. When you're selling phones that cost 700 to $1,000 or more, there's just no excuse to cheap out on this. We pay for a premium experience 
and that includes charging our phones in less than three hours.